Good morning. It's uh, so great to see so many people live in one place again. It's wonderful. Well, welcome everyone to the celebration of the 2021 graduates of the Bren School of Environmental Science and Management at UC Santa Barbara. And now I'm delighted to introduce our keynote speaker for the 2021 Bren School commencement, Famida Bangert. Famida is a graduate of the Bren School's Masters of Environmental Science and Management program with a specialization in economics and politics of the environment. She draws on her Bren education in carbon accounting, life cycle assessment, and corporate environmental management in her role as head of environmental, social, and governance initiatives for IT Renew Inc., which specializes in data centers. Famida is passionate about building circular economies and ensuring sustainability throughout the supply chain. Previously, Famita worked in higher education sustainability at Stanford and UC Berkeley, where she developed UC's first climate action program and helped Stanford rank number one out of 940 institutions through the National Association for the Advancement of Sustainability in Higher Education. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce our 2021 commencement keynote speaker, Famita Bangert who will be speaking to us remotely from the Bay Area. Welcome, Famida. Thank you, uh, Dean Gaines, uh, for your kind words. And I'm zooming in from Sunnyvale, California, in San Francisco Bay Area, the land of the Ohlone people, particularly the Muekma Ohlone tribe. And I bring greetings from class of 2006. Class of 2021 and the entire Bren family, congratulations on this very special graduation celebration. You have not only managed to cross the threshold and add four more letters to your resume, M-E-S-M, -E but you have also done so in your own terms during the most exceptional year of our lifetime so far. When Dean Gaines and Dave Parker first invited me to be your alumni speaker, I was first honored, of course, and then a little panicked. I thought my email was hacked after all these years. But when I realized it was real, I could not stop smiling. The gift of the Bren education was a game changer for me. And to be among all of you today will now remain a beacon of hope and celebration to me. I did stop smiling, however, a few days ago when I realized I owed you a meaningful experience. So I did what always worked for me at Bren, was to go to the balcony with the view of the ever nourishing ocean. We drove to Santa Cruz and I thought of all of you looking at the vastness of waters during sunset. What might you want to hear? I realized that I do not have anything to say that you have not heard somewhere before, perhaps. Inner wisdom you don't already share or quotes from famous people you have not read yourself. You are already complete with the passion to replenish our community, environment, and planet during your career. All I can and will offer are three affirmations or requests for you that resonate deeply with me as your friend and fellow graduate. First, Please have no regrets about missing out on your Bren education because of the distance and disruption of the pandemic. What you experienced was the education. It's not what you expected and how you meant for it to happen, but the learning, the strength, and the inner motivation to go on, this is a lifetime of education, leadership, and resilience in one and a half years and with the Bren community by your side. If there is any cohort you want to be with during a demanding period of your life and for it to be transformed by the love and support of the community, I have a feeling you got it here. I know I did when I was pregnant, wobbly, and then a new mom during the entire second year of my Bren experience. And it was absolutely the best and most enriching education of my life. My 15-year-old daughter, who was born with the full knowledge of how to calculate the trajectory of a pollutant, but who is quietly scrolling this speech so I can look at you, is a testament of resilience and rebirth during an unexpected challenge. 
if you can do all that you did with your masks on while distant on zoom and constantly improvising using the best connectivity between your brain and heart imagine what you can do from this point on like athletes who train with extra resistance to be able to fly through the sprint you are now strong light and ready second Every job available now is actually a climate change role. Every offer letter is about an ESG report down the road. And every career decision is now about some sort of a 2030 or 2040 climate goal. Whether your next business card has the words environment, sustainability, climate, zero in it or not, any role any of us take in this decade is in the service of the planet Earth. Whether the employer knows it or not, whether the hiring committee has thought it through or not, and whether the company is aiming in the direction of zero carbon, zero waste, or an equitable society or not, all jobs are, directly or indirectly, in service of a changing climate and economy. This shift is now inevitable and the momentum is accelerating. So do not be concerned too much about the company brand, the title, or the job description. Just aim for where you can have the most impact in protecting the environment and transitioning our wasteful linear economy into a restorative circular one. In fact, if an organization is already doing well in sustainability, perhaps choose not to join them. Join one that really needs your talent, tenacity, and conviction. Make your resolve the one thing your future employer may be missing today and make them say, thank heavens we hired Brennies because without them, we would not be here today. Let your education and your preparation be the accelerator the next employer needs. I know this works because I've done it in several organizations. And the focus on the mission is a liberating force for positive change for everyone involved. Finally, make this decade of climate action count. You are entering the workforce at the most dynamic and consequential time of our legacy on this earth. While we live in a changing climate, the worst impacts of it can still be avoided if we collectively aim in the direction of a carbon-free, or a low carbon economy, society, and planet. Whether you focus on climate risk and resilience work to help organizations to adapt to a changing climate, corporate social responsibility roles to help our economy prioritize climate and sustainability, or help protect a national park through land use conservation, every step you take is going to have an amplifying effect in these years. This is the best time to make your mark and trust me, even those of us who've been at this for a while, we are redefining our act too. You're not alone. You have what you need. Just aim at the most impactful service to our planet and keep your eyes on the mission. Leave behind random acts of greenness. Instead, be deliberate, strategic, and focused in your plan and action to make your contributions count. One last thing, even though I've used up my golden rule of three points, let us do all this with diversity, equity, and inclusion in our choices and actions. What makes this decade special is not just the climate urgency, but the readiness of our collective platform to deal with the artificial and demanding divisions of race, gender, religion, and the various class systems. In the journey you take, bring someone with you who you know deserves to be out of the shadows inflicted on them due to no fault of their own. Like climate action, being a diversity, equity, and inclusion agent is everyone's role. I wish you a sustainability journey that is not only momentous in contribution, but also progressive and enlightened. Lead by example and let others learn from you and say, the class of 2021, what a remarkable cohort of leaders, scientists, educators, entrepreneurs, and humanitarians. Thank you and congratulations.
Thank you, Famita, for that wonderful speech. Uh, what an inspiring talk for how we can learn critical lessons from these challenging times. I think it, you know, it shows the power of lifting spirits, inspiring the drive, and launching these great new innovators out into the world in ways that they can have really big impact. So thank you much for sharing your wisdom with us and for your willingness to join our hybrid celebration today. We look forward to the time when we can welcome you back to Bren Hall in person. <laughs>